price would be set for the product on the international market. They envisage a positive impact across the supply chain that would bring benefits to each individual cocoa farmer. So if the government is going to increase the price, it means he can afford the fertilizer, he can afford the weed size, he can employ more labors so he can increase his production. So when he production also increases, it means he's going to get more money because prices are going to go up. The price is to be set at 2,600 US dollars per ton of cocoa, an amount established in conjunction with the Ivory Coast. It's a lot of cocoa, the boys. Guarantee what is being I hope you know what you're doing with all that cocoa. Producers. Recently, the price of cocoa on the global market has been as low as 1,961 US dollars per ton, making this increase a major step. Members of the Ghanaian Farmers Association have signaled the of this government intervention. We don't have anything to sell again unless the cocoa. Cuckoo. So if the government are thinking about the farmers and bring, they are coming together to fight for the farmers, we support them. But it's not just the cocoa farmers who stand to gain from this new set price. Nice bit of cocoa bean in as well. The impact. In Ghana, there have traditionally been only two big chocolate producing companies, but around 50 smaller businesses have emerged in recent years. So Look at the way they sniff the beans back over yonder. That's not done over here. You wouldn't get that over here. They take great pride and pleasure in their beans. And that's how, they, that's how it's meant to be made. That's how, it's, that's how it's meant to be made. With love, passion, desire, temerity, ten tenacity, grit, determination, fire, power, heart, soul. With everything you've got inside your fucking spirit. You don't leave one bean, no bean left behind. Sniff your beans. And if you don't, then you're not. What kind of a man are you? Four years ago, Ruth Amoa founded her chocolate brand called Moments marketed as an artisanal product with the line from bean to bar. She has a positive outlook. People will probably decide they would want to even come and produce their products from here. Because it's yeah. cheaper to even make your chocolate in Ghana and ship it out. So potentially that could be more work, more white label chocolate that we can be doing for other companies. So I think it's also encouraging for people who are in the industry. The government yeah. of Ghana and the Ivory Coast are now set to discuss how best to implement this measure for the next two years of cocoa production. With these two countries together accounting for 60 how ninja gamer you still there francis yeah i'm here man like what I, where else would i be you're watching me on the screen do you know what i'm do you know what i mean one two one two is the mic still working it is uh funky fresh how are you yeah left my arse off is it you still there, Francis J. Can? Yeah, I'm fucking still here, man. Where else would I be, like? You still there now, Francis? Yeah, I'm fucking here. You're, you're, you're taking the piss. Percent of the world's cocoa production. A lot of you are taking, you're taking the piss out of my good nature, good will. I want to. Re I'm reading the comments and I'm making sure that you're happy. I'm making sure that you're fuck that you're happy watching what's going on. And that you're not lost. Yet, a few of you are taking advantage of me and making fun of me. Saying, are you still there? Well, I am here. Yeah. I'm happy if you're happy, alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy if you're happy. Okay, yeah, no, 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 there's no, there's no problem here. I'm happy if you're happy. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. I'm as cool, cool, there's no problem here. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. What was that? Same thing again. Africa news again. We were here last week and it didn't go well. This week on Africa Weekly. We take you to Ghana, where the government's announcement to set a minimum price for cocoa along with the Ivory Coast could mean a boost for the economy. 
and we travel to Kinshasa, which may well have the best claim on the world's worst commute. But first, a summary of the stories that made the headlines this week. Heavy security surrounded the Cairo Cemetery where Egypt's first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi, was quietly buried on Tuesday. Right. 67-year-old Morsi collapsed. Bad crack there in fucking Ghana or Cuba or wherever it was. Hong Kong's after you now. It's a bit of... I've heard there's been a lot of uh, fucking around out in Hong Kong. Protesters apparently by the thousand load. And they have stalled what is what is their government over there. They're telling China to go fuck. That lad, Umbrella Joe. 7 Eleven master. He's not going to get past those spikes. The spike is head up. Step down. Bit of a drone crisis there the last day. Let's have a look at that. Apparently, Iran are uh, getting spicy as well out in the Iranian, the uh, the Gulf of Iran there, the fucking the that fu- that part of the fucking country, the world. What is it? The Iranian, the Gulf of Mexico, is it? Sorry about that. So four vessels attacked May the 12th. US drone shot down there on the 20th. And you have the Strait of Hormuz as well. US drone drowned down here and the Iran drone down there. And there, down here, look, you've, you've, oh man. I wonder, was there a collective sigh of, oh man, when the drone was shot down, like, like you were watching it in the sky going, oh man. Or was it just the fact that the country is called oh man and that that was a cheap way of trying to get a, a word, a pun word, and the video's over. The video is over. But big thanks to Jonathan Story for the, for the video there. Who's this? Bill Cosby, is it? I oh, know. Could be Jill Cosby, for all we know. Her name could be Cosby. Shaky cam needs to get a tripod. Look at this lad here in the suit. Just rewind here to this lad's suit here. He's got one of those. Oh yeah, and he's done the shave. He shaved the line so that he has a lined beard, and he doesn't have the. Stubble underneath, which is a new big look now. Uh, if you're a fella, you need to have that bit shaved and lines, so it's obvious that you put fucking time into your face. Just get a shave. Like, just have a beard or don't, you know? You don't need to go having fucking sculptures. This isn't Picasso. This isn't art school, okay? It's called your face, and you're failing at it, okay? You've got a D in your face. Why? Because you've started fucking shaving lines all over the fucking place. And there's also people with uh, haircuts now that are shaved with lines. And they've got lines in the side and all that. And like, what are you at? Do you know? This is not, this is not a... Rolling I would down say a, it's not a fashion show. But it's highly unfashionable. What some of the people are doing. And it's more like a circus than a fucking fashion show. Feel the dream. Feel the dream. Arizona. Thank you very much. Look at all those lads in the truck. Fucking hell. And that isn't even the story. That's not the story here, folks. But I found the story. It's these guys. What 
What, meanwhile, what is this? This car, this thing this. going? We don't know. Tahiri drives Thank you very much, W. Cheers. Company and is proud to drive a Carenz that not only sports his company colours, but is homegrown. This car is made in Madagascar by Malagasy people. We buy Malagasy products to support Malagasy businesses. Malagasy. This car is easy to maintain because it has a Peugeot engine, which means it's not difficult to find parts because we can buy them in many shops. He's making that Peugeot, he's making that Peugeot purr. While the engine might be imported, the chassis, bodywork and electronics are all made and assembled here in Madagascar. Hey, and the car is also it, it looks like it was made in Madagascar. No offence, but it looks like it was made in Madagascar, do you know what I mean? It's very light, easy to push. It's a 4x4. Four four. The windscreen is very straight and that's because of the greenhouse effect and the heat. Yeah. The high windows are for security and the tilted bonnet is for visibility. All of it has been conceived to be functional. At the start, no one had faith. Even our suppliers... Yeah, I don't have faith and it's the end. in Africa with people who had no qualifications is completely impossible. Yeah. Closed in I don't know who'll buy the car there, lads, the but I mean, at least you've made something. In 2009. Some 60 people work at the social enterprise, making around three cars per month. Joelina is one of six women working here. For her, being a mechanic is a dream come true. For me, I'm proud as a Malagasy, as a woman, to do the same work as a man. Aria. I love my job, especially when I see the chassis. I'm proud that I'm the one who made the Mazana 2 chassis. The Mazana 2, is it? I'm happy when I see my work on the streets of Madagascar. Ah, it's all right. It's not great. It's not great. Have you seen the C-Class, the latest C-Class? Now that's a car. Airbus and Boeing present propeller drones. Experimental propeller drones. Flying taxis, these are now, at the Paris Air Show. You would have to pay me a lot of money to get me inside one of those yokes. I wouldn't, they look like they're, they, will, they will kill you. You will die in one of those. You won't get to your destination on time. Where's it gonna land? There is nowhere for that something like that to land. You wouldn't even get two people in that. Waste of time. We look A lot of money gets spent on these things. With the next UK Prime Minister. We want to avoid a disorderly Brexit and establish a future relationship that is as close as possible with the UK. We are open for talks when it comes to the declaration on the future UK-EU relations if the position of the United Kingdom were to evolve. Here, your man Tusk, in, f in fairness to Tusk, he fucking says that he is, is a lot riding on the table, like, you know, he's... He's a man of his word, he, keep, he sticks to his guns, he does what is right, and he's a fucking man of honour. He's a family guy, he's a great guy, a great personality, and a, lovely, and a lovely man, he's got a lovely heart. But the withdrawal agreement is not over. But he doesn't withdraw. And he never will. Uh oh. <laughs> fucking matchstick fa factory, fire at a matchstick factory. Our diplomacy does not give Iran the right to respond with military force. And Iran needs to meet diplomacy with diplomacy and not military force. Yeah. Bit of force would be fucking... Bit of force would be something to watch anyway. Uh, it's been a boring week. The football is over, like, you know, there's no sport on and... Uh, yeah, fucking... It'd be great if there was a bit of a fucking war or a shambuzi going on over with Iran. Just to fucking, you know, till the season kicks off again, you know? I wonder are they taking bets, the unscrupulous gamble masters that run the country, will they be taking bets on the fucking latest war in the Gulf, the slipstream? Maybe they will, they'll be doing cheeky fucking tweets about it. And they'll be making a lot of money too. Nigeria, war of the land, one of the last nomadic, the Fulani. Once, there used to be room for everyone in the middle belt. The zone where a Muslim dominated north rubs alongside a largely Christian south. The continent's most populous country has nearly 200 million mouths to feed. Alongside that demographic boom is an expanding market for meat and milk. 
In the north, the tough droughts seem to grow ever harder, while the brutal insurgency of Boko Haram has Boko. devastated swathes of the lands around Boko Lake Chad. Boko Haram and the Boko boys, so pure the bad boys. So the people are shifting south, often, if they can, for good. Conflicts over crops, water, and livestock have grown. Long dirt tracks Livestock. wander for tens of miles, snaking through a scent of devastation, from burnt Feel villages the of the Adara to abandoned hamlets of the Fulani. And I ran. I ran so far away. Thank you very much. Um, and we'll get out of this place anyway. It doesn't look like my cup of tea now. Fucking Nigeria and the boys. Wouldn't be my, wouldn't be my thing, to be honest, no. Wouldn't be my thing. Feel the dream. Pat Butcher. Arizona. Thanks, Pat Butcher. Um, sorry there, guys, if you're watching this now. The notification didn't go out, so I've kind of been on the fence as to whether to bother streaming the Resident Evil shit show. Half eleven now. Fuck it. Our, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll keep going for another short while anyway. The plan was to make this stupid UMB mix the fucking worst bit of gaming yet we might do it now if UMB number four let's have a look now now with mp3 NP003 and UMB number four. So I think we might mix UMB number four and UMB number two. But uh, to get UMB number four, we need to put fucking UMB into a UMB two into a bottle. Okay, and then we mix, what will we mix here, let's have a look. with something Let's see yeah live live vipers view maybe that would fucking work maybe I could do that but uh, I'm sorry I'm, I'm I want to just try and get these 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 flavors mixed if we can get the flavors mixed, we're laughing. Not literally, because there is no funniness to this at all. This is just a boring part of a game. Empty bottle. UMGB number two. Combine number two with. So we got that, 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 yeah, three, yeah. Second opinion on these guys. Okay, fuck it. We'll mix green with purple. Four with three. Here we go. And now I've got two sevens. Fuck!
Two sevens, two sevens. What do you do with number seven? You move, you be number four, and then you mix seven with four, is it? Seven, a two, and a four. Four with two. Makes four with two, is it? Kind of glad the uh, the notification didn't go out because it means that you watch it, people who come straight to the stream and it'll be this shit. Um. So I mean, is it a win win or is that a loss loss? Medium medium, who knows? Do you mix? Four with two, is it? The fuck is the blue stuff? UMB number two. two. Mix that with. How the fuck did you get the blue? Six plus seven equals thirteen. Okay, then you mix seven is seven with four, is it? Four with seven. Four with seven, yeah, four with seven. Okay. A red and a green. Now we we mix that up maybe. Yellow six. <laughs> yeah. 
Yellow six. I'm gonna do this now from scratch. Seven and six. Seven and six. Hold on one sec, someone's beeping the fucking horn. Oh my god. I don't know why I was uh, bothered about streaming this. We're back at it again. If you've just joined us, the notifications didn't go out. However, there are still there are 171 people watching. I don't know how that's happened. But uh, apologies in advance now for what is... We're still here from last week. We're still here from last week and it's not going well. Okay, we've a yellow and we've we've red number set we've white number seven and yellow six. <sighs> Mix the fucking six and the seven together, is it? Six and the seven. Okay, what's that? Combine the yellow. Combine the yellow with what? Seven, is it? Combine the yellow with seven. Combine the yellow with seven. And that should make blue. We've got number 13 now. Umbrella number 13. Okay, now what's next? What's next on the fucking agenda? Combine red with water and then purple with blue. Combine red with water and then purple with blue. Combine red with water and then purple with blue. Purple with blue. Combine red with water and then purple. Combine that with blue. And then we've the V-Jolt. That's the V-Jolt, guys. That's what it's taken a week to do.
Cat, hello, Higgin, how are you? Francis, this is a tough watch, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, well, don't watch it, man, do you know what I mean? This isn't, we're not here to fucking make friends, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, cattle man. If I was, if I was wanting everybody to watch, like, I would have fucking screamed it from the fucking rooftops, like, do you know what I mean? Go, go back to watching whatever the fuck it is, Britain's Got Talent, or fucking the latest soccer, or whatever it is, man. Do you know what I mean? Hello, Higgin. There you are, man. I'm I'm only pulling your I'm only pulling your trumpet. You're fucking not, man. You're fucking not, man. You, you won't be pulling. You you might be you might be pulling another lad's trumpets, Cal. But you're not gonna fucking pull mine. And uh, Love Island is on now, probably, man. You might want to go watch that. I'm only messing there, Cal, your sound. Hopefully you're, hopefully you're all right. All this shit, and now we can go down to the plant and use the bazooka that Veruca on the plant. <sighs> I can smell, there's a bit of a fucking smell coming out of me now. I need to get a shower. No notification, no problem. Arizona. Thank you very much. Hey, I don't care about these notifications guys all i care is that we're getting the v jolt onto the fucking plants okay and your man kahal as well keep an eye on him he's out there in the chat saying he wants to blow Feel the trumpets me. fucking hell it's, it's all coming back is the notification hit is it hey looks like the notifications just dropped yeah yeah. My face is on a little tiny screen in the bottom corner of your your big screen. It doesn't even mean anything because I'm already on the screen. I just didn't do the fucking setup. I didn't take time to calibrate the web camera and make that look bigger. I should have. In retrospect, I should have. But I didn't. Thanks very much. Anaconda G comes back into the chat, into the stream. Making me spit fire bars. I've got a three fire bar heater. I bought it from fucking Electrical World the last day. It's not my cup of tea. You can take it. It's conduction heat. It doesn't. It doesn't waste it. You've got heat coming out of your ears every day for the next ten years. You're not gonna have any en energy bills anymore. Why? Because I'm heating up the house. I've got a little bicycle downstairs, and I'm gonna pedal that like a hamster mouse in a wheel. I'm gonna make the, it's gonna be connected to a fucking heater yoke upstairs in your bedroom. It'll make the room go really warm. I'm gonna heat your house for the next year. I'm gonna heat your house until I hear you scream, heat your house for the next 10 years. I'm gonna eat you out of house and home because the appetite I got means that I wanna eat more than bones. I know you've got a bit of meat in the freezer to take it out, defrost that shit and make it easier for me to eat when I come round to the gaff to rig up the bicycle that's gonna use to heat up the bath, the water and all that shit. Got a steering wheel, I got a steering wheel, I got a steering wheel, look at my steering wheel, I got a steering wheel, do you know what I mean? It's feeling real, I got a steering wheel, oh yeah baby, perforated in the way you like it, yeah. Oh, real leather. Real leather, man. Do you want to buy it? It's on done deal. <laughs> and, and we can, we can really uh, get to grips now, I suppose, with this plant.
Mark Dargan, how are you? Who was beeping outside? Ah, someone fucking beeping me. I told him I was fucking doing right. I was trying to make V jolt. Thanks, Mark Gorman. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I wasn't feeling the. Thanks, Anaconda G, there for the fucking tip. But I, I wasn't feeling the beat. I don't know if you noticed. I know. I, I know the flow. Look, the flow was sick and tight. But I mean, I wasn't feeling. Them. I wasn't on my A game. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking bring it to the next level. I don't know when, but I, I'm gonna take it to the next level. up a bit just one second here now yes hip hop mode enabled Right. Yeah, it's a bit of black mold uh, or something or other there growing. It needs a bit of silit bang. Or if anybody has a bit of silit bang there, we need to get rid of some of the, the cobwebs, the spider webs, and the mold. Black mold. And don't be breathing it in either because you might end up getting fucking bad chest. I have uh, a relative who ended up with black chest after they were breathing in all the black mold in the in the attic of one of the houses there. Could be a bit of a fucking dodgy one now, having done the V-Jolton and then not saved it. And also, I don't have any aid spray on me or anything like that. Bruno, thank you very much, Bruno. Black mold under your nose. Are you serious, man? I heard that you're, uh, you order caniston by the pound and by the sack. And you have it on a continued prescription. Now, let's have a look here at the typewriter, see if we can save this. That's where we've come up, we've come to a little bit of a, a, a shit situation here is because we're going to end up getting et. People say this is open door simulator and you think that's funny and everything but I mean if you were back here back in the day when this was released your fucking mind would have been blown and you'd be like ah oh, right yeah it's pretty good but it's all just a laugh to you guys now isn't it you open a shit door and you go out from another shit door and you go into a room this is the way it was you need to appreciate it 
You've been spoilt with iPads and your iFlow and your iDeck and your touch screens and all that stuff. Instant gratification. Bypat. Thank you very much, Bypat. You old, you, you baby. You're a big fucking baby. <laughs> Bye, Pat. Thanks for that. You're looking like a big juicy cat. Sat, having a nap. Oh, no, no, I'm being killed. Being killed by wasps. I'm being killed by wasps on Resident Evil 1. The original one. The one with Jill and the gun. Barry. Barry. Barry Burton was his name. Had to get out of that room just there because I started getting a load of wash beans in my hair. Had to go and wash that shit off using Garnier and Neutrogena. Once I got the Neutrogena washed out of the hair, I decided to use another fucking devil may care solution. This included vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. And if you don't know that, that's because you're not older enough to know about the tricks of the trade that your mama used to make every time I used to go to her house. And I'd have wasps in my hair. I'd be like, get them out. She goes, don't worry, Francis. T take a minute. Just lie down there. I'll get the vinegar and we'll be good straight into it. I said, I don't need vinegar, woman. Just get rid of the wasps. And then we'll be stinging our way back through this Resident Evil game. On a one, two, three, four, five. I met your mother a few times and she kept me alive by spraying that godforsaken vinegar shit into my head, ears, nose, nev nasal cavities. And I was feeling like I was it. I was the king. But can you rhyme? But can you rhyme? But can you rhyme? When you got wasps in your hair and you're feeling like you're gonna die. But can you rhyme? Do you know what I mean? Thanks very much, bye, Pat. So where the fuck are we going now? Was that the right way? Ah, oh, poisoned. Fucking poisoned. We might have to go through this whole shit again because of that fucking thing. Get a gaming mouse, you clown. This is played on a... Who said that? Get a gaming mouse, you clown. Like you know. Brave Star 08. Get him get a gaming mouse, you clown. What how would you how would you suggest I connect the gaming mouse to the PlayStation? Hmm? No, they don't there's there is no way, is there? Yeah. Why don't you uh get your own mouse? Maybe we can take a bit of blue herb out the box inside the little the rooming as well. Mix that. Mix mix the fucking the blue with the green, and we'll we'll see how that goes on. Fucked. We are fucked. This, that's Brave Star 82. He's fucked it all up, man. He's he's really made me feel <sighs> with his gaming mouse comment, you know. Feel the dream. Funk Farmer, thank you very much. Arizona. Thank you very much, Funk Farmer. Someone else now in the chat saying, what a shit game. Honestly. 
it's it's a shit game now since you started watching. all seems to be obstructed from the opposite side Yes. So happy we found that ladder. It's just so good. The game is moving at an alarming pace now. I know there's been a few complaints about the, the pace of it, but listen. Stick with it. Stick with it. Brave Star, get more RAM. Listen, Brave Star, man. You've got a pretty brave old fucking face on you coming into the chat room, man. Telling me to get mice, telling me to get fucking gloves. And RAM now, is it? Why don't you go and ram yourself, Brave Star? You won't be half as fucking brave then, R Ram Star, when you're, when you're braved out of it, man. And then we've got a, a couple of green herbs into ourselves as well. Green Herb Lenehan. <laughs> Fucking Ramstein. <laughs> Will you mix the herbs? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I've nothing else to do. It's Friday evening and I I'm trapped in a basement with some fucking plant that wants to kill me. Feel the dream. Grid rain 741. Thank you. Arizona. <laughs> Friday evening, Saturday night, whatever, I don't know. I cannot wait to put this V-Jolt on the plant. It's going to be so good. It's going to be like a brand new part of the game. In fact, I can almost certainly say that it's definitely going to unlock a new part of the game. <laughs> I can't wait to play that. Now, here we are. We use this V-Jolt on the plant. On the roots of this. <laughs> What's strange? The plant must be a typewriter as well. What a strange thing, a strange noise to have made. Feel the dream. Mr. DNA. Arizona. Thank you very much. Did you see that Ram Brave Star? I did, yeah. That was uh, weed killer Anthony McMullen. That was Roundup. Yuppa shop is gone. What's that bomb? Should I get rid of you, Yuppa, or should I? Should I? Ah, we timed him out. Fuck. He's probably all right. Maybe he was just. Uh, maybe he was rattled. We've been in here, we've, we know this. 
We just need to go and defeat the plant now, I think, is the... Is the main thing, is it? New doors are a nice touch, is right, yeah, they're lovely. They really spice up the atmosphere. And it's great when you when you get a ladder as well and you get to climb that. Really does just break up the fucking monotony, doesn't it? <clears throat> Feel the dream. Matthew Shields. Arizona. Says you're lagging. Check the check the ping. I don't fucking have ping. Who the fuck do you think I am? Man. Ping Crosby. Matthew Shields coming in here like Bill Cosby. Trying to do You're not welcome, Matthew. You are, I'm only messing. Thank you very much. You better check your ping yourself. Check your ping while I sing. My little Japanese beats. Then they sound like they come from the Ming Dynasty. That's Chinese, okay? Noodles and tea from the land of rising sun. I wish I was over there having fun, but I'm not. In fact, I'm in a little mansion house trying to kill a big plant who's killing the house and the environment, actually. It's just a pain in the arse. He's scum. He's absolute scum. He's scum. He's absolute scum. Did you see that plant? He's scum. Sorry, Matthew Shields. Sorry, man. I'm fucking trying to get there. It's tough. I'm meeting a lot of restrictions along the way. A lot of... Uh, let's just say beat blockades. Or a lot of stone... The flow has encountered a stone wall throughout the uh, the freestyle there we encountered a stone wall I couldn't keep that going uh, but thanks very much and I hope the stream isn't lagging and it's an old game like does it really need to be 60 frames per second I don't really know about that if it does then I'm sorry I apologize if it's not reaching that quota if it isn't if it is reaching that quota I retract the apology and I actually I issue a volley of of abuse at anybody who has come at me with uh, details about the streams uh, lagging or it's not been fast enough or any of that. A volley of abuse leveled at you. Okay, and you can't take that back and I've, I won't ever take that back either. Feel the dream. Arizona. Matthew Shields. Is that himself again? It is. Lot of ping, he says. Lot of ping. He's back at it. Matthew Shields back in the house again, like. Well, 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 what's that smell? I'll tell you what that smell is. It's the ping on the fucking machine. We've got Matthew Shields trying to tweet me and text me in like he's having a dream. A bad fever dream is what you're having, Shields. Matthew Shields, you best pack a shield when I come round because I'm going to fucking throw a volley of unsound opinions at your house wrapped up in bricks and then I'm going to kill a little mouse First I'm going to just put it in a box and bring it home Then I'm going to make it walk along the floor while I film it on my motherfucking phone 
120 frames per second, Shields. Why? So then you know what it feels like to be living in slow motion, baby. Whoa. That guy, Matthew Shields, is getting maximum ping. Sorry about that. I don't know, uh, Shields, whether or not you've got maximum ping, or if even that's a thing. I actually don't know what ping is, and I don't want you to explain that to me either. I'd rather not know. I was happy enough living in a world where I didn't know about frames, frame rates, pings, fucking... I'm trying to think of other things that aren't in the realm of digital media. Something else that really not, that is just oh, just uh, NCTs, the N fucking CT, like what a jip! It's only uh, it's good, I suppose, that we're live we're operating fucking cars at work, and you know you. But uh, it's a money making racket. Feel the dream. Spag Boy, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Spag Boy. Appreciate it, and I hope that you make it to Arizona one of the days. Praise be to God. These lads know fuck all. Derry lad in Canada, you say. Thank you very much. Now, we feel the dream. Arizona. I don't know what to do. I. I Anaconda G, thank you very much. It's a strange situation to be in. I'm trying my best out here. I'm trying to fucking get the game to, to get going. The notifications didn't work at all earlier on our stay, and uh, that's that's a shame for me. But as if you're watching this, I gotta say thanks very much, and thank you very much for tipping. It means a lot to me, and it nothing else I can really say about that. Nothing really, there's nothing really much I can say about that. There's nothing really much I can say about that, except thanks very much. Now, I've got a bat in the back, in a bag. I'm gonna use it to smash someone's spag ball in later on, man. Gonna head off up town, celebrate tonight with a big fucking round of head golf. That's where I take my head, my, my golf club and smash cabbage with it. Gonna be a bit of cold cannon on the streets tomorrow, baby. Make sure you bring your fucking spoon, fork, and knife. You be eating that shit up all night, baby. Feel the cream. Sultans of Ping, Sultans of Ping. Thanks very much, Sultans of Ping. We've just gone color corrected again. Again and again and again. We're gonna bring this to you all through the night. Hardcore Resident Evil shite. We're gonna defeat that plant and make sure he goes home. Back home to where he fucking grew up. Look, that plant needs to go back to where he grew up. Because he's ruining this house. It stinks. The, ho the whole house stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in pieces. Yeah, Brave Star. Big shout out to Brave Star there, and thank you very much, Brave Star, and welcome to the scene, Brave Star. Uh, you say more RAM in your little message there. Thank you very much. Maybe I can buy some more RAM with the the, uh, the RAM money there. Wouldn't want to make any rambunctious statements of that ilk, mind, but I will say this. It's not fucking bad uh, to be putting RAM into your computer if you need more RAM. Whereas at, at my stage of the game, when, when you've got a, a console like this, the PlayStation 3 emulating a PS1 classic, RAM isn't the way forward and uh, neither is a gaming mouse. However, we will endeavor to uh, vanquish the fucking plant beast. Uh, what am I packing? Have a look. Does anyone know where the plant beast is? Because I'm actually fucking... I don't know where to go now. 
we're we're on a bit of a, a stuxy at the moment. Maybe maybe down the fucking corridors, is it? Is there another corridor or something? Maybe in here. That's the fucking wrong one. Feel the dream. Cod Dev. Arizona. Thank you very much, Cod Dev. Fucking, I hope that you're Cod but not forgotten. Isn't that it? How are you, Cod Dev? What's the crack? Didn't know that you were in the chat here. It's great to have you back. Were you ever gone at all? Were you ever gone at all? I'm not sure. It's not camping if you're if you're not scared if you're scared. It's not camping if you're scared. And as far as I'm concerned here right now, I'm having my fun. I'm playing Resident Evil 1. And I don't even own a gun. Cause this is Ireland. Guns are banned here. In case you fucking use them to shoot up schools and shit the way you do over in yonder town. <laughs> Napoleon Captain here all along. Sorry guys, now I'm just trying to fucking get through this Dane Bauer style, you know. Thank you very much. Tobias. I'm wondering where the uh, the big plant is now. Feel the dream. Sass the last. Thank you very much, Sass. I go into that big massive room the the one above the the plant yeah we need to go up to where it was growing up to Mulkeen 7 you need to go to where it was growing up to we do. And I was giving out about the plan saying you need to go back to where you grew up. But they was actually growing up into where I was living. So, I mean, that was a bit of internalized racism. Racist against myself, if that's the case. Oh, no, it's the wrong place. Wrong place again. Sorry here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can we get the doors rehung? Maybe if someone feel the dream. Do that and get go back to 1996 and then en enter. Mark, maybe Mark Gorman. Thanks very much, Mark. If you are listening, thank you very much. And also, Mark, any chance you could head back to 1996 and uh, get inside? Try and get inside a video game. I know it's impossible because you're a human and and this is just a. Uh, a digital project, like, you know, a 3D project. Is there any way you could do that, though? Because we need it, and the doors need to be rehung. For fuck's sake, now. Hang on, where the fuck was the plant growing up to now?
Does anyone know where the plant was grown up to now? Does anyone know where the plant was grown up to? Feel the dream. Kowloon for Sam. Arizona. Thank you very much. Fucking wasps. Stingray. <laughs> Bag boy, how do I get into that room that it's if it's locked? Mondo, thank you very Arizona. much. Zona. No shitting in the onboard toilet. Niche, niche. Is that an ink ribbon on the table? I think it is. I think it is. And I think I'll take that. And you're going to be treated to a little bit of an ink ribbon. We got an ink ribbon. We went into that room. I wasn't kidding. I went looking for some stuff. Some uh, Francis Higgins. Some pudding. Some friggin' figgy pudding. Some Higgins pudding. What I found wasn't what I was after. A little ink ribbon that looked like a little box of plasters. I picked it up, put it in my pocket, then jetted off out the fuck out of that pub like a rocket. Out the top of the roof, up to the sky. People point and going, is that the viper? I can't believe my eyes. And I'm like, yeah. I'm a flying snake, baby. I've got an ink ribbon. You want to pay me? You're going to have to pay me because I'm selling it. I'm selling it for €2.50. Does anybody have €2.50, please, for this ink ribbon? I'm selling it now. If you don't, it's going, 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 gone. I thought it was going to drop, but it didn't. And I thought the price was going to drop, people. I'm selling an ink ribbon. Have we got any takers? Any takers for this ink ribbon? It's a beautiful piece. It'll go inside any old-fashioned typewriter. Okay? It's going once. It's going twice. And it's sold to me. I bought it. I was gonna sell it to you, but I fucking didn't do that at the end of it. I made sure I bought it. Why? Because I like ink ribbons. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna fly around a little bit more, and then I'm gonna do some typewriting with it too. Send a letter over to you. A letter of condolences. Wah wah, you didn't get to buy the ink ribbon. Wah wah, and now I'm flying around having figgy's pudding. Okay, well, we might come back again one of the days for that. We'll see how we get on. Feel the dream. Play FIFA, Arizona. please, lad. Play, please. I'm. I can't, because I don't own it. <clears throat> and that's the short and the the odds the odds gonest as well. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm not lying. I don't own FIFA. I did have Pro Evolution 2017. And I'm not fucked getting FIFA. Feel the dream. Chari, how are you? Can you play your Arizona. mindfulness video for me? I've only seen it once. I'd like to see it again. I really like watching your streams. Thank you, Chari. Well, I'm, af I'm afraid I don't have the uh, the video in question on my fucking stream 
set up at the moment, Cherry. But it's very, it's very nice of you to chime in with that and say that you like the video. So that means a lot to me. Because I'd make those videos and I wouldn't really think much of it. But then people say, do you know what? They, I like it. So thank you very much, Cherry. And also M-S-H-I-E. Thank you very much. I wish I knew where I was going. That's the only thing that I, that's bugging me now, you know? Maybe if I use the mansion key, there's a key, is there? In the, the little the locker I have. Reckon the mansion key would do anything. We best save it anyway. Please don't be a dorm room. Please don't be a dorm room. Right. Won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side. Go to the door next to the plant room, are you serious? Spag, I'm just gonna say what, I'm gonna do what you're doing, Spag. What you're saying, because if, uh, if what you say is true, then I'm going the wrong way. All sweats are off. Fucking Schweb soda water. Maybe we can really cream things off. Now we can really cream things off with a nice crisp Cool, cold can of sand pen.
That's fucking nice. That is nice. Now, somebody said to come into here, and I know it's a load of old bollocks. Cause there's nothing here, is there? I wonder where the missing book is. I took it. Did I not take it? Maybe I have to put the book in there, is it? Now back out again and this is one of the famous runaround bits of the game where you don't know what's going on everyone it's a real beautiful part of the game it's fantastic and something that you're actually fucking you should be privileged uh, and feel privileged about what you're seeing right now we're going back to get a book and we'll put that book into the the slot and then everything will be fucking It'll be perfect. The game will be moving at pace again. And it'll be like um, watching a movie. High def, 5k. No lag. No win, no fee. Blank book. Stick that there. Ah, while we're here, we might as well put the uh, the ink ribbon in there. And that's just about fine right now for me. I'm happy with that. My loadout is it's fantastic. I've got a great loadout. You should see what I have. I've got a shotgun. I have shells. We might take a little look at the shotgun as well while we're here. <coughs> Check this baby out. Wow, look at that. We are looking down the fucking barrel of time there. You won't want to be looking down that barrel. See you later. Finger trigger goes click. Head goes boom. And uh, it says it's a Remington M870, a pump action shotgun. Moving swiftly on, we can, uh, we don't have to move that statue, someone was asking me, it's already been moved. We can go with the red book to the dorm room, and then put that red book into the bookcase, and we should have something. If we don't, it's not going to be nice. Thanks, Spag. If it does work, I have only you to thank. Yeah, you know, because you have it. Where did I get this book? I can't even remember where I got the book. Library jab, is it? Nice. Secret passageway now. Hold on to your seats, guys. Hold on to your seats. Shit's about to get nasty. God. Fucking plant man. Let's get out of here. It's locked.
We heard the jazz. Fucking hell. Scary stuff, guys. Hold on to yourselves. Mind yourselves. Time for a bit of this. Fucking regimental Remington coming your way. We're gonna combine that with some sexy shells. Combination job, is it? No problem for me. Give me the shotgun now and let me fucking blow this plant into kingdom come. Back to plant world with you. Back to fucking Woody's DIY man. Back to homeland. I don't want you. I'm only I'm only here to pick up the fucking winter warmer deal. And it's the middle of June, sure. Still, I don't give a fuck. I want two bags of sticks, two 40kg of Polish doubles, two boxes of fire lighters, and three fucking bags of, of uh, logs. Kiln dried logs. Stick them in the boot. I'll be out the back. Glad. Now, this room looks like a, a padded cell. <clears throat> Maybe do I get something over here, do I? Jill, hello Jill. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Jill? The key in the fireplace, is it? Spag boy. Spag boy's got the, uh, the walk throughout. And uh, I like the usage of spag ball for someone's head. I'm gonna fucking smash your spag ball in later on, man. Spag boy is after you. Now we can unlock the big door here. Barry Burton, is it? Or Wesker? Wesker! <laughs> Jill! Circus music. The makers of Resident Evil 2 hired Bobo the Clown to score the whole entire game. It was the first instance in which a major musical uh, uh, project was was handed down to a fucking clown uh, for a video game that was made out in Japan as well. And he had a full orchestra did at his disposal, did Bobo, yet he just decided to go with the same organ sound that he knew and loved from the circus. Let's check that out right now. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. What the fuck? I think in this director's cut, they've... Um, they threw in these... They, they threw in these... Uh, the stupid music bits. What did he say? Did he say I was just... Discharging my firearm, or was that some? Was that a joke? Oh, I was killing these bees. I see. I think you can step on these cunts. You can, yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. Ah oh, no, watch. Ah oh, no, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Ah oh, no, wait a sec now, watch, watch this. <laughs> wait a sec now, watch this one. There's another one here on the floor. Look right, right next. Watch this. Ah, no, wait a sec. <laughs> now, now who's laughing? Do we go back to the house now? Mansion key. Hmm. 
Carving of a helmet. We've got the helmet key. And I like that the way in your inventory then, if you've examined the key enough, it'll come up as the helmet key and not the mansion key. We don't need anything else, we can just fucking go. Jill, Brad, oh, it's broken. Da -pa. Feel the dream. Fucking hell, Farfurda, how are you? Arizona. You absolute mind beast. Thank you very much. Big shout out, Farfurda, there with that lovely little situation. If you're ever spooked by a room, soften it up by firing a few rounds into Feel the darkness. The Morgan Welsh is going to be there too. Morgan Welch. What have we got for you? Feel the dream. From Ballinata, Amsterdam. We doing it like a nice slice of ham. Not Denny, oh, not Clonic Kilty, oh no. We go Galty on the shit. Yeah, baby. Galty stuff has you shitting bricks every day. That's how I roll. That is my way. It's snaky, but what can I say? I like to open ham on the bus on a morning. Spook everybody out. And then... Got a tip from Anonymous. Thanks very much. I fucking... The, the fucking beat ended. The beat ended. I was going to go off on a sick one about ham and opening up ham. Thanks very much, um, Feel the dream. Dr. Mindflip. Arizona. Thank you very much, Dr. Mindflip. And and Anonymous Tipper as well. Odeed on the Russia Today video. Nice to be chilling in the Death Mansion tonight. The Death Mansion. All right, yeah, we're chilling here, man. We're fucking chilling. Uh, we're chilling. Illin, like lifeguards. Yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to think of a rhyme. Now I'm in rhyme heaven. My brain is overloaded with so many tips and tricks. Yeah. Real snake man. Feel it. Feel the snake man move. Yeah, baby. One, two, three. Get into the groove. My name isn't Stacy. It's Francis. Okay. And now I'm back again to rock your world in the way that you, have, you always wanted. Let me take there's too much snare in that headphone. Let me let me do this. Yeah, let me do this, baby. We're out here in the fucking courtyard. We're gonna kill dogs with their guns very hard. Put those guns to their heads. Blast, blast, now they're dead. Oh no, my dog is dead! Well you shouldn't have let him eat that fucking fetid T-virus steak you bought him from out in Lidl. <laughs> And I can't even actually believe they're selling those in Lidl. You need to go to Lidl now and fucking tell them that that steak is not right. And tell them what happened to your dogging. And tell them that the dogging has been killed and explain to them. Because they need to know. They're selling this stuff. 
Sure, if the dog ate it and that's what happened to the dog, what's gonna be happening to everybody who's buying their stuff? Yeah, we're back on another rhyme trip. Another six sick Francis Higgins tip. Don't ever fucking start with me with that, that your rhymes aren't good enough shit. I am good enough and they are great and I'm gonna do well. I'm off over to the States in fucking July. We're gonna be doing a rap battle over there with a load of fucking hoods and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You know me, I ain't a hood. I just do my thing living out in Mayo. It, it's sound. It's grand. I know that you, you're thinking you should be doing better, you should be doing something with your life, but I, I'm fucking have. It's, I'm alright, is what I'm trying to say. I'm having a nice time. Listen lads, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. I'm. Something is not right. I don't know what it is. I think it could have been that fella that was asking me to get a gaming mouse earlier on. And um, it's, it's kind of, it's fucked up the chi and the flow. Fucked up, man. I'm sorry. We're, we're only we're only uh, two hours, an hour and a half into the stream. Someone's shouting outside now. Something going off outside. Listen to this. Listen to this. Some fucking lads, some mad lads out there pissed. And, uh... I don't know if you could hear that there. Could you hear it? There was a lad, there were... A lad outside was going... Give me the keys! Give me the keys! And, uh, I think they were... One of them was pissed. Oh, they were both fucking steamed. And one of them was going driving. And the other lad was like, no, give me the keys! Give me the keys! Feel the dream. Chris Korshgad, thank you so very much. much. Chris Korshgadden is after you. Wasn't there a fucking battery or something I had to put in here? Maybe I can take the battery out of one of those. <coughs> Thank you very much everybody who's watching and everybody who's uh, Mind Flip and Dr. Mind Flip, Morgan Welsh, Far further, Chris Corscadden. It's a full house. It's a full house. It's a full deck. <coughs> Snakes.
I think um, I'm considering. I haven't made the. I'm not going to pull the trigger on this one until I've had a bit more thought about it. But changing my name to uh, Snake Lennox. That's something that I'm going to have to consider after a while. Apparently, back in this house, there's a load of fucking lick-out beasts. Not lickers from Resident Evil 2, but there's, uh... uh whatchamacallit? They, um... They're like little green beasts. Little, gr like, Schleimers. Punchers. <clears throat> Snake Lennox sounds steady. Thanks very much, Baz. I'm gonna fucking go with that, man. Or Pashku Snakey. Or Snake Gillenhall. Just something here while I've got you. Was thinking of Snake Gillenhall <coughs> there, and then I was looking for images of Snake Gillenhall. Maybe you can see that one. And then a funny one came up. Then it said uh, Beyonce Knowles instead of Beyonce, but she is a B as well. And then there was another one of Snake, Snake Gillenhall. He was a snake on, on the desert floor. And then I thought of Snake Gillenhall or Jake Gillenhall. But uh, I, for some reason in the news was Graham Linehan, uh, the Father Ted creator. So you, on one hand, I was doing Snake Gillenhall, and then I seen Graham Linehan, and then, then Jake Gil Gillenhall, and I thought, so you've Snake Gillenhall, Jake Linehan, then surely there must be some market out there for a crossover. So I made, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Snake Glinehan. What do you think of that? <clears throat> it's worth a shout. It's worth a shout. It's worth something. <clears throat> we'll keep going anyway. We'll keep going, not because of me, but because of Jody and Robin Stateside. Arizona. Jody and Robinson Stateside, thank you very much, and I hope you're having a great time over there, over in Snakeside, over in America. Feel the dream. Grigoski, <laughs> thank you. Arizona. Where the fuck are the hunters? I thought there was going to be the slimy books in here now. There's, there's nothing. Oh my god. Look at the fucking quality of the, the video. It's MPEG 5. Oh, he's got... It's like a winning streak animation. Oh my god! gonna be a monster from Carlo who's gonna give me 5,000 euros or a Yaris. 
Oh my god, the winning streak monster is here, guys! He wants to take all you- he wants to give you all your- all the money in the world. Fuck. I think it's time to save the game, because I'm- I'm a little bit scared, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why would I lie anyway? I only want to be the- I only- I only want to tell you the fucking- The God's honest. And that is- I'm scared. Uh oh. So we might give him a fucking blast anyway and see how we get on. This stupid hunter. Look at this! Winning streak! That's Marty wheeling in there in that suit. That's his sh that's his streak suit. <gasps> oh fuck. Feel the dream. Arizona. I can't give you a fucking lift into town. I can't give you a winning streak either. <laughs> Guys, we know we know where it's saved. It's saved in the uh It's saved back in the in in the garden shed house. And that's too far for me, and it's been too far long a night. The original intention was not to uh, play this game because the notifications didn't go out. So, I mean, whoever is here, thanks very much for watching. And thank you very much for tipping. And um, I will see you later on. Fucking hell. I'll get back to you anyway about Snake Lennox. That's going to be something, it's going to be something else. But uh, until next time, we'll see you later on. And best of luck, good night, and God bless. And remember, always, always, always remember to check the fucking fire guard before you go to sleep. Okay, because you might end up burnt. And that is not good. And also, turn the light off after bedtime. Carbon footprint, you'll want to reduce that. You, you'd want to look at that. Yeah. You, you'd want to check that out. Okay, carbon footprint? <laughs> yeah, I think you, I think you'd want to check that out. Yeah, I think you'd want to check that out. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you later on. Thanks very much. Good night. God bless.